Donald Trump recognizes this. I mean, hey, Biden was no great shakes, but it's a little bizarre what just went down. He talks about this, exactly how, ladies and gentlemen, the presidency was stolen from Joe Biden. I want you to hear it. The presidency was taken away from Joe Biden, and I'm no Biden fan, but I'll tell you what, from a constitutional standpoint, from any standpoint you look at, they took the presidency away. And people were saying he lost after the debate. He couldn't win. Well, I don't know that that's true necessarily. But whether he could win or he couldn't win, he had the right to run. And they took it away. They said they're going to use the 25th Amendment. They're going to hit you hard. Either we could do it the nice. I heard. I know exactly because I know a lot of people on the other side, believe it or not. And uh, they said, we'll do it the nice way or we'll do it the hard way. And he said, all right. So that, I mean, they've really taken, what they've done is pretty incredible. He's right. I mean, it is really and truly incredible. I just sort of can't believe that it all went down like that. But sure enough, amazing, amazing what you can do when you get the media in your back pocket, right? And that's exactly what they had. So now here we are. We're not a lot of time between now and November, right? This is, this is coming fast. And they're hoping that maybe people will just overlook things like Kamala's policy. Like, does she even have to have any? Go to her website. This is amazing. Take a look. This is the website. I've been through the website like 50 times. I keep looking for anything that would actually talk about this woman's policy, and there's nothing there. So you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of 2020 kind of all over again when nobody wanted to talk policy when it came to Joe Biden, all they wanted to do was put him in the basement, have him read a teleprompter, and hope for the best. And they knew with the media on their side, they could get that, right? They could get a win. They could eke out a win if they could just sort of keep him quiet enough and not talk about the real things that mattered. And, and Trump's like, oh, okay, I want to talk about trade. I want to talk about trade tariffs. I want to talk about the Fed. I want to, I want to get rid of Jerome Powell. And everybody's like, who's Jerome Powell? <laughs> like, nobody wants to talk about, in the media, actual policy. And I know this from experience. I mean, look, I, I've worked in enough media organizations to know, first of all, as a financial reporter, I was the only one who got jazzed, like on Fed Day. Nobody actually accepted the financial networks. Nobody in mainstream media actually cared about the Fed or cared about trade or tariffs or any of the economic policies that actually really will dictate our future. Nobody cared. Nobody wanted to do it. They just wanted to talk about palace intrigue all the time. And so, this is what the Harris campaign is serving up. They're not serving up anything of substance whatsoever.